Hi guys, so I'm in France at the minute on holiday and I thought I would go for a little walk and so I'm currently in a forest just uh, north of St Gilles and there's some really nice forests so I thought I would take you on a little walk with me as I, yeah, go for a little wander. See you in a bit. So I'm looking for this route, so I know if I see the yellow, I'm on the right path. So it's going well so far. So I've just realised that I did a jungle wee and I thought I'd walked in the middle of nowhere and I walked ages through bracken and spiky plants and spiders webs and I realised that I was just there. And if anyone had walked past, they would have seen me. So I think <laughs> I, think I might have to rethink my uh, discreetness in future but I'm making good progress and I will have a sit down in a minute and let you all know where I am because uh, I actually have got a map it's in my magic pouch um, however I'm really tired and so uh, I've not really thought about the order of what I should say and when I've basically just gone for a, a wander and uh, decided to get the GoPro out, which you can kind of tell because I have absolutely no idea what to say. But I will, in a minute, find somewhere to sit down, have a rest, and uh, we'll catch up then. Cheerio. So I'm having a sit down and I thought this would be a good chance to have a look at the map and show you where I am and what the plan of action is. I appreciate we are near a road, so this may not work at all, but being that I'm at a bench and I can have a look at where I am, I thought I would show you what I'm doing, because that'd be a good idea. So essentially, I'm in the Vendée region at the minute on holiday with friends, and I decided, right, I've been here on holiday enough to know the local area, and I thought there must be walking routes and uh, short ones and yeah i found some so i went on the tourist website in french obviously because it's a french website and managed to find some things that i thought would be helpful and so i am um, i think i mentioned that i'm north of st Gio. i'll show you so this is what i found essentially so this describes some of the routes there are in this particular forest area so i decided friends kindly have dropped me off around here and so i'm actually doing the number 30 which is a really nice short route and it basically goes around here and down the beach and it's about 5k four and a half k which i think is a really good uh starting walk for me to do because i'm quite unfit and i'm literally at that bench there so that is where i am and i'm due to be walking down here to um, the sand dunes and then walk across here and then catch the number 30 back up and do a loop round and I think my friends dropped me off around here so hopefully I can find this turning again because as you can see there's not actually a path that goes down that's signposted but actually I did manage to find it. Um, if I was feeling particularly fitter I probably would have done a longer route um, but we'll leave that for another day because it's getting later on in the day. So yeah, I'm doing the shorter route for now. So 
yeah that's the plan that's where i'm at i didn't realize quite how sandy it was going to be i don't know why it does say on here something that looks like june in french so i don't know why that didn't give me a clue as why it would be sandy but um yeah it's lovely it's a really nice water it's very dry very dry here at the minute they've had like a drought um in quite a lot of europe actually but france especially in this area they're really struggling uh, with water at the minute so yeah the ground is literally really dry um but can't complain it's not raining it's really nice and warm it's been lovely so yeah time for something to eat and some water and then crack on i think <sighs> there we are that's what i'm doing i'll catch you all later so all I would say is, uh, when you get across where I had that sit down and chat, um, don't go veering to the right down the nice big path because it's actually slightly to the left. And I went for about five, ten minutes in completely the wrong direction, which isn't helpful. And one of the other things I've noticed is the absolutely huge pine cones. They are absolutely massive. can hear the sea yeah I can hear the sea well I'm not sure I'm gonna get up on that it's absolutely huge it's built for giants well here we go all right hop 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 that wasn't very glamorous was it <sighs> that's lovely it's a lovely day must be about, I don't know, mid-twenties. Um, and... <sighs> yeah. Well, I've landed. I'm set on my bum. And... Oh, what else have I say? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I took my... Um, I felt a bit fashion challenged. So I decided to take off the yellow flowery thing and the dodgy hat because I just looked a bit silly. And although skin tight, technical layers, in exactly the most flattering either, <sighs> I figured it was worth a try. If I look at it and go, oh, hello, you look like a pregnant Oompa Loompa, then uh, you'll see the yellow thing go back on. But um, I thought I would try without. So yeah have a sit down, see where I am, and I think I'm obviously near the, co the coast. I don't know whether I'll actually get to see the sea. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at, jumping up onto high benches. All right, see you soon. So thus far, I feel a little cheated because it's like the beach here. I can hear the sea, but there is no water. I feel like this path is deceiving me. It's thinking I'm going to end up at the beach. I've got my beach stuff. And thus far, all I can see is sand in woods. That's what I think about that. Où est la plage? Où est la plage? 
Ouais, la plage. Ah, la plage. <laughs> 